All right, guys, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Keep Through Cha, where we showcase Latin influencers and creators. My name is Christian, and my partner Abel is on Productions. And tonight we have another special guest, Santi, all the way from California. Um, Santi, go ahead and just give us a little bio. Hey, this is uh, Santi, uh, short for Santiago Cepeda, uh, born in El Salvador, uh, former Army, U.S. Army vet, and uh, currently living in Los Angeles, California. Hey, thank you again for your time, man. I know we've been uh, trying to get you on the show for a little yeah. bit, um, having some issues, but uh, thank you, man. Uh, I want to start from the beginning, you know, just so people can kind of get a little bit of uh, understanding of, of how you got to where you're at now. Um, so how did you even get into photography? You know, was there any uh, links growing up or anything like that? Yeah, you know, I think it was, uh, you know, like a progression, right? And and I kind of phased into what I what I do now and I remember taking photos and, 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 and videos as, as a young teenager, you know, in house parties and things, and really mm -hmm. didn't think much of it. Um, it was only until, like, later on after I kind of got into my adulthood that I started noticing the value of, you know, taking shots and really documenting what actually happened and having that as a memory. And so that kind of stuck with me. And um, I think a big turning point <clears throat> for me was um, back in 2006 when I, when I had the opportunity to be a part of, like, a marcha over in downtown L.A., and that's really when it kind of took a different feel and a different vibe for me. So yeah, yeah, I was gonna, I was actually gonna ask you about that too. Um, how how did you get in, or or what kind of gave you that that uh, passion or, or that spark to even want to get involved in the march? Um, I know you said you're from El Salvador, so I know that the march had to do with immigration. Uh, what got you to that point to to want to show up there? Yeah, um, so you know, like. Obviously, I'm an immigrant, and so that that really touches home. And so, uh, when I was involved in, in, in La Gran Marcha, I was actually going for my undergrad, and, and so my my thesis was on um, immigrant immigrants and, and, and day laborers, uh, jornaleros, and the the uh, the struggles that they go through and trying to find work. These are mm. people who are really are trying to just make a, a good living in a good way, and so that's how I got involved with with that population and, and, and with many organizations and what stood one of the things that stood out with, with me um, during that those experiences was the leadership you know the leadership of our people and, and the camaraderie and and when things really mean something we're able to come together and and and, and, and move at, as one unit and it really does a big impact and so that's how i got into the, the the photography aspect of it part of my studies and me taking pictures to kind of get more content to the, the what's on paper, right? It's what kind of led me to that. So another, yeah. another moment where it kind of just made me realize the the power of, of that medium, you know, the medium of photography. Yeah, and, and I love like your work. Um, I mean, we're, we're gonna have your, your in, you know, your handle in, in the show notes so people can can take a look at it. But your work, I mean, our, our culture, our cultura, you know, it, it is all through, and not only, you know, when I say our, I mean, you know, everyone as far as like our, our the latin community um mm -hmm. it, it rings through all of your work and it, I, I think it kind of ties into the whole aspect of you know you saying that you when you went to the march and kind of your um relation to that is that another reason why you know you have so so much of our culture in, involved in your work is because you're trying to showcase um you know like show a positive light to our our culture yeah, you know, I, I try to represent um, any culture that, that, you know, I participate in in a respectful and appropriate manner. And so that's a, exactly what I try to do is I try to give sound bites. You know, you obviously can't give so much in in, 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 so, in Instagram, for example. And so I hope that the, the audience or the person who's looking at the image really looks at it and studies it and starts asking themselves questions like, you know, why is this photo so important? You know, and specifically with the, with the cultura images that I have. There's a significance to the culture and to the background associated to that image. So, yeah, and, and like you said, it's like a like a sound bite. It's like a little snippet to to yeah. the culture. It's a little bit of a little taste, kind of. It's and, a taste um, to, to, a, to a big big song, right? So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, what, explain to us what uh, to live and die in LA is. So, <clears throat> the that's yeah, the, the to live and die in LA. It, it's pretty much a representation of. La Cultura in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And so it's everything and anything in LA. And so right now we're, we're, we're creating series, you know, photography series um, to specific groups, cultures, subcultures, and we hope to give a good representation of the things that happen out here in the city. 
Yeah, man, I love I love the the page that you guys have right now. It, it just like you said, it really just gives you kind of like a, um, an outside perspective for anyone that's not from LA. Um, I'm actually I was born in LA in um, in downtown, and so it's cool for me. You know, obviously now I'm in Florida, but it's cool for me to to be able to still have that like, you know, that, and and when I see it, I'm like, damn, and I, I miss I miss it, man. But um, it's it just, it's just cool to, to, that's the the whole idea of social media is you're able to kind of present something to people who otherwise wouldn't be able to see that stuff, you know, right. because of the distance or, or whatever. Um, in, in terms of, of the work itself, is there anything that you hope, um, people kind of take away from, uh, the pictures that you take? Uh, just, just to appreciate the different, uh, cultures that we have, you know, just mm. in general and, and to really understand that the cultures and, and really take initiative and responsibility into doing more research you know an image is an image it's an introduction and we mm-hmm. give you access into that that group into that those families and, and into their their struggles and their issues and you know for me i i would hope that people um, look at it and prompt them to actually guys actually start looking for more research and more more things that um, are linked to that that specific group so just Definitely. be more informed i think yeah Definitely. And on the topic of social media to kind of stay with that, um, and not only social media, but today's world, it, it, it seems like there's a, a little bit of a disconnect in terms of how it used to be and, and you know, more of like a patient, uh, long term mentality to nowadays where it's like a very instant gratification. You want things fast. Um, what trait do you think is, is key for people you know coming up in today's world? Um, you know, with everything that's been said, you know, in this interview, I, I think what's important is um, just being able to listen, you know, mm-hmm. not not have a thought, you know, and and be able to to listen to what the person's telling you, because I think that's a lot oftentimes where we lose the 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 meaning or the message, is that we're so um, quick to respond with something that mm-hmm. we're not really paying attention to what's being said. Yeah. Yeah, no, 100 percent. And uh, last question. Um, what's next for you? You know, as far as I know, you got the to live and die in L.A. Um, in the works and you guys are, you know, constantly building that. Um, what's next for you as far as um, uh, your career and what you're trying to do? Uh, well, my, my in terms of. OK, so my career, it's 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 moving. And so, you know, I, I work with people with um, development, disabilities and mental illness. And so that that's an ongoing thing. And that keeps me pretty busy. Um, outside of that. The photography, you know, is, is, is you know, is another part of, of my life, my day to day, and so the to live and die in LA, it's really a big part, you know, and and right now we're working on creating a, a next event that represents LA in from different aspects and different cultures, and so that's a mouthful, you know, to yeah, yeah. LA in one venue, it, it, it requires a team, and so that's what we're doing right now. Awesome, man. Well, you know, anything that we can do to, to help support, um, just yeah, shoot sure. me. You know, if you guys have flyers or anything like that, just shoot okay. it to us um, and we'll, we'll help spread the word. But again, man, thank you for, for taking the time. Yeah, thank you for, you know, allowing me to, uh, you know, speak with you guys and I appreciate the support. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you guys again for checking out this episode. Uh, next week is our season finale for season one. So please be sure to check that out. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe and you know any like, share, comment is is much appreciated. Right now, we also have some gear, uh, fresh gear on the website. That's at lafortetasupply.com, and all of Santi's work is on his Instagram. So go ahead, we'll put it in the show notes uh, down below. Click on that and support. Thank you, guys.